Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be walking you guys through everything that is in my diaper bag. I know I did a video like a couple weeks ago where I shared what's in my newborn diaper bag, but today's video is actually gonna be a video showing you what I currently have in my diaper bag. You guys are new around here. First of all, my name is Kayla. I'm a first time mom. I have a 14 month old baby girl named Riley. Now that Riley's a little older, there's definitely new stuff in my diaper bag. So I wanted to walk you guys through them. These are just things that have really like saved my life, honestly, like when I'm on the road, when I'm running errands. But before we get into the video, I wanna let you guys I know that today's video is a collab with my good mom friend Britt Demansky. She also produces a whole bunch of super cute mom and lifestyle content so definitely make sure to go check out her channel. Britt and I go way back. She's actually the first mom that I ever collabed with. We sat down and we filmed a mom tag video so it's like a little Q&A for like new moms and if you guys want to see those videos I will leave them down below so you can like get to know us a little bit better. She's also going to be sharing what's in her daughter's diaper bag. Elena, her daughter is 12 months old. She just turned one. She had the cutest first birthday. So definitely make sure to go to her channel and check her out out. say hello on Instagram her content is so much fun and like Elena is the most beautiful like blonde haired blue eyed baby I've ever seen in my life so let her know that I sent you if you do go over there and if you guys are from Brit's channel hi welcome I am so happy that you are here I hope that you stick around I would love it if you would subscribe join the family I put out a lot of content just hoping to help you moms because I am a first-time mom and I know that it's hard sometimes just to figure out like what you need and like what's gonna work what's not gonna work so that's what my channel is all about I would love to have you here subscribe turn on the notification bell and if you do enjoy this video and you find it helpful I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up it helps my channel it takes two seconds and without further ado let's just get into the video all right so I have a whole bunch of stuff here on my bed and I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to show you guys I'm not gonna do like a full diaper bag review like showing you the different compartments of the diaper bag so I actually have three different diaper bags and if you're interested in seeing like a comparison video where I show you like the actual diaper bags themselves and give you some thoughts on which one I think is the best let me know down below and I'll be happy to make that video for you but today is strictly what is in my diaper bag. So this is the diaper bag that for the most part I've been using lately. This is the diaper bag that I got um, that I put on my registry when I was first pregnant with Riley and for the most part this is the very first diaper bag that I ever used. So I have that one up here today and I also have one more. I have this one that is a beautiful pink color. This one is a Luli Baby um, diaper bag. Both of these I will leave down below for you guys if you're interested in checking them out. So let's just get started. All right so what is in here? Obviously the essentials. I have wipes and I have diapers and they're all like folded because they always get like crumpled up in here. My daughter still poops and she still pees. She's going to for a very long time. So I need to make sure that she has diapers and wipes. I can't tell you how many times I have had to just do terrible things and like change explosions in the cars and things like that. So you need to have diapers and wipes. You also, like I talked about in my newborn diaper bag video, um, these little, um, like changing pads are the best. Um, I keep one of these in the diaper bag at all times because this one I lost like the changing pad that came with the diaper bag. So I always have one of these. I also have Subway coupons because, uh, yeah, because I bought a sandwich the other day. So I always keep one of Riley's like favorite toys. This is the creepiest clown I've ever seen in my life, but it's like the little Jimboree clown and she loves it because she goes to Jimboree. So I keep some kind of toy that I can give to her when she's having like a just meltdown Toys are always good. I also keep some books in there for her. She loves to read her books in her car seat. So if we're on the road, if we're driving to her Jamboree class or we're driving to run errands, I give her books, but I need to have two different kinds. So this one I can give her like if we're at a restaurant, but this one is what I will give her if she is in her car seat in the back because these are the indestructible books. And if she decides to chew on it or bite it, it's indestructible. She cannot eat this. When I used to give her, um, I think there's one in here, yeah. When I used to give her these little board books, she would eat these. So if she's in the car seat, I can't give her a book that she's gonna eat because she's gonna be chewing on it and then I'm gonna be like distracted, like trying to take it out of her mouth and that's not a good thing when I'm trying to drive. So I have just a few different options depending on the situation, but I like to be prepared because like the last thing that I want is for her to like have a meltdown and me not have anything to give her. Okay, and then similar to my newborn diaper bag video, I do have changes of clothes that I keep in here for Riley. These are Christmas footy pajamas because Riley is gonna wear these Christmas pajamas until they literally do not fit her anymore. I know it's like almost March, but whatever, she's gonna wear them. Um, But anytime that we're out and about, like if I'm at my mom's house and I'm gonna be there late, that like runs into her bed 
bedtime. If I'm gonna get home and it's gonna be late, like time to put her to bed, I'll just change her into her pajamas so that way like when she gets home, it's like one less thing that I have to do. Like, you know, I could just kind of like give her her milk and just put her down in her crib without having to change her. And then I will always just keep a regular change of clothes because you never know, she might have a blowout. She hasn't had one in a really long time, thank the Lord, but you never know. And I don't wanna be caught off guard. I don't wanna like get to somewhere and then she spills something all over herself. So a change of clothes is a must. I also keep just a pair of socks. Again, just a good thing to have. And then I have like her snacks. So I do not leave my house unless I have puffs because Riley eats these puffs like if they were water, like she is obsessed with these puffs. But normally what I'll do, like I brought this tube just to like show you guys what the puffs look like. But these little snack cups are the best for like your diaper bag. So I'll take one of these little snack cups. What's nice is that there's like a little compartment. The babies like stick their hands through here and then they can get their snacks. So I will take one of these, I will take some puffs. Um, and then like if we're out at the store and she's sitting in the cart, I can just hand her her little puffs instead of like walking around the store with like an actual tube of puffs. I also got these sent to me from a company that I thought were really cute. This is from Bumpkins. These are like little snack bags, like little pouches. So if I wanted to like put the puffs in the like little pouch and then put that in the diaper bag, um, I can do that too. So these little snack pouches are super cute. This my mom got me and I love these and I've used them a couple times now. These are called table toppers. They're like little disposable placemats. So I'll show you guys what they look like. And again, everything that I mentioned, I'm gonna try to link for you guys down below. Um, but this is what this looks like. And I will use this like if we go out to dinner, um, they're just like little placemats. And then there's like a little adhesive um, on the back so you peel the adhesive and then you can put this like on the table wherever it is that you're eating so that you can put your baby's like snacks or food on the table and it's just like a little cleaner and it's cute it's like a little activity so like I'll put this down and then I can be like okay where's Elmo and we can just like have fun pointing at the stuff so I think that these are really handy really cute what's nice about them is that once you're done you throw them away they're disposable you don't have to clean them so I think that these were like really smart I was so happy when my mom gave them to me and I really liked them so that's something that I recommend now like if you have a baby that's a little older I will also always keep a bib in here and this one I just stole like from the counter and she was eating this morning so it's super dirty but we love these little like silicone bibs this is like the cutest bib of life i loved it i am very busy um so these are great because the food will fall in like this little compartment here and then she's like not making a mess everywhere i also will keep just like random little pouches for her she loves these as snacks if we're obviously going to be going somewhere and it's going to run into her lunch time i'll make sure to have her lunch too another snack that she loves that i always keep in here are these like little plum organic bars this is what the boxes look like so you guys can see um but i just picked these up at publix and these are just really cute little like granola bars for the babies and they're like organic um this one is strawberry this one is banana pumpkin yeah pumpkin banana she loves these and i just think that they're so cute just to like throw in your diaper bag and then just hand them to your little one if they get hungry. I'll also keep Riley's water bottle in here and it actually spilled like all over my bed when I was preparing everything for this video. This one's a little munchkin um, sippy cup. She's loved this, she's done really well with it. She drinks from the straw. So I just like to make sure that she has water wherever we're going. We live in Florida, it is so darn hot everywhere we go. So I wanna make sure that she's hydrated. So I always have her little water cup. I also have granola bars for me and this is the same thing that I mentioned in my newborn diaper bag. If you're a mom and you're on the go, you've got stuff to do, Sometimes we just don't have time to eat. Like that's just what I've learned this first year in motherhood. So I always have like a granola bar handy so I don't like starve and die. I also keep a random pair of socks for me because like when we take Riley to Gymboree, um, we have to have socks as adults. So I never wanna like get there and then be like, okay, well, she can't go to Gymboree because you don't have socks. And then in the front pouch of my diaper bag, obviously I have all the stuff for me, any makeup that I have or like my wallet, things like that, my keys. So obviously you need that. And then just a few more things. I always, in her diaper bag, I will keep like spare like bows and like things like that for her hair because she has a tendency like throw things off her head and then I can't find them or if I leave the house and she doesn't have a bow like I like for her to have a bow on her head. Um, so I just keep spares in neutral colors so that way it'll probably like match with whatever she's wearing. So I just like have like little white bows in here. She's also been wearing her hair lately and like those cute little pigtails. So I have those little elastic, um, just like the little elastics to put in her hair and she will rip them off of her hair and then I can never find them. So I always keep spares in here. But what I do is I take like a little bobby pin and I just like thread them through. That way I can always find them because if you just put these little elastics like 
in your diaper bag, you're never going to be able to find them. So I put them in a little bobby pin or like in a clip sometimes. Like I'll just take a clip and just thread the little elastics through there. Just helps me find stuff. And the other thing that I'll show you that I usually do keep in her diaper bag is the Amazon Fire tablet. I know, I know that some people don't like this and you don't have to have this in your diaper bag. But Riley has always, always, always had this Amazon Fire tablet. She loves TV and she is a smart baby and she's fine. Don't come for me that she has a tablet. We've had to do a lot of like long road trips and she does not like to be in her car seat without entertainment. So this is like a lifesaver. I won't pull it out unless I absolutely need to. Like again, unless it's a long trip, unless she's like in a mood, I will always have this as like a backup. We've had a great experience with it. I download like the Disney app and I think there's also like a little PBS app so she can watch Daniel the Tiger. And if we're somewhere, if we're at dinner and she is being cranky, being crazy, this thing saves our life. And then the last thing that I will say that is kind of along the lines of having something in your diaper bag but it doesn't actually physically go in the diaper bag, I have that shopping cart cover and I'm gonna try to insert a picture of it so you guys can see what it is. Um, if you guys have never seen one of those, when Riley was a little younger and I would try to like go to Target and put her in like the little seat in the shopping cart, she would like just like wobble around there and she wasn't comfortable and she would like fall to the side and she would like be leaning and I felt so bad for her. She was just not comfortable so I bought that little shopping cart Heart cover it is the best thing it also serves as like a high chair cover so if you go to a restaurant and you have a high chair you can put this cover on so that they're a comfier and then it's also like a sanitary thing because like if you don't want them touching the shopping cart or touching the high chair you can just like have this little thing that serves as kind of like a bumper so we've loved that and i always keep it in the car like wherever whichever car we're using that day i'll like put it in the car and then that way we have it wherever we're going but that's really it that's typically what i keep in our diaper bag thanks so much for watching guys if you guys have any questions about anything that i mentioned or just any random questions let me know down below in the comments again make sure to go see Brittany's video because she'll be showing you what's in her diaper bag and I'm sure she'll have other ideas sometimes she'll show products on her channel and I'm like um like how did I not even know that that existed and like I said in the beginning if you guys did like this video if you found it helpful I would love it if you would take two seconds to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new I would love to have you stick around and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys